Welcome to another interview here at IFA Weekend 2023. Anushka Aurora in conversation with, can I just say, somebody who in my 15 year career has never interviewed Badsha. And that is appalling. That is appalling. That is embarrassing. That is just epic fail, Badsha. Like this thing happening here right now is like the first time ever. I just want to say I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me for the first time. Yeah. Bacha, I mean, this has been a really long time coming. So firstly, mm -hmm. thank you very much uh, for taking the time out and speaking to us. Um, IFA Weekend is here. You're performing at IFA Rocks. Yeah. How are you feeling about all of that? Um, it's my first time at the IFA. Um, and I was just wondering, why haven't I come here before? <laughs> but like, I, I generally don't go to awards. Uh, uh, but like, I love Abu Dhabi, I love IFA, I love the people here, and I love the fact that I'm sharing stage with the likes of Sunidhi Ma'am, Amit Trivedi, Nuclea. Uh, it's just madness. I am excited, I'm nervous. I have a few points to prove to my seniors. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so what are these points that you want to prove and why is somebody like you nervous? I, I cannot associate that word with you. No, I, like, I'm just nervous because I'll be you know performing on the same stage as these maestros no points points to prove like he thank you for this opportunity and i i i just want to make sure that i'm worthy of the stage yeah. Arre, arre, yeah. Arre, arre, arre. Yeah, I, really, I really hold them uh, in high regards sunidhi ma'am is an electronic performer mm -hmm. amitra vedi sir is a magician nuclear is a beast I just want to know where I stand. Oh my <laughs> God, I can't wait for that. That is going to be like, add Bacha into the mix and you have fire on the stage is what I can see and predict. Um, Bacha, let's talk about the music industry. I mean, you're quite, uh, I want to say, emotional and open with your feelings uh, when it comes to music. Um, how do you feel the music industry has changed over the years? Uh, it's, see, it changes uh, um, every five years. It changes every 10 years. Um, you know, once I think, uh, once, you know, once artists who start, you know, they, they're in the industry for like 10 years, I think they become too big, uh, and too away from the audience. Um, this is what I think. And that's when they start losing relevance. Um, and, uh, th then there are new people who are just making new sounds and making, writing new rhymes, telling new stories, which are like more relevant. I think that's how the change occurs mm -hmm. and uh, I just try I just try to keep my uh, ear to the ground and uh, I think uh, my humility helps <laughs> but uh, yeah it's it's ever changing it changed when we came into the scene it's yeah. now changing when there are new kids on the block who are doing amazing stuff and whenever I say this I sound old and I don't want to sound <laughs> old to say it uh, well yeah. you don't look it to be fair you actually look a lot younger and I was saying that to yeah. your management earlier I'm like Bacha looks really different. He, yeah. And then, you know, you're, I think you've kind of changed your image. You're looking fresher, I feel. I, I think, you know, when I, I like, I, I never uh, uh, paid importance to uh, myself when I was making music. And mm. now it's just, it's, it's in a lot of ways, it's me first. Like, even if it's my personal life mm -hmm. or like my time that I spend, I'm spending my time, a lot of my time with family, my parents, and uh, making music, but like the music that I want to make. Mm -hmm. Sonak was an example, Jugnu was an example. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's it. Your music that you have done over the years, like when we listen to it and when I play it on my show, it's like one amazing music production and song after another that you, you, that you give us. Do you feel you have achieved those goals and if so, where and what would you like to do next? Oh, no, not at all. Uh, um, I want to do a lot of stuff. Uh, I want to do everything that is there to do when it comes to mu making music or uh, in terms of becoming an, an artist, a music artist um, globally. Uh, but like, eventually what you do is make music. Mm -hmm. All that matters is a good record, mm -hmm. right? And that's that's how it is. But with changing times, you have to evolve. Uh, your team has to evolve. Yeah. You know, you have to keep up with 
what is going on. Uh, there are new ways and there are new means and there are new um, outlets. Uh, you just want to be, you just want to make sure that you're heard and uh, you, you evolve, mm -hmm. you know, you see, it's not, it's not business for me. Mm. It's my love uh, for music and, and my passion for people to hear my music. So, mm. and that is what I'm going to be working on this year, next year till the day I die. Can you give us a little bit of an insight as to what kind of music we can hear from you next? Like how, because I felt like Chumkila Chehra Junglu, it was all very different to what you've done. And I yeah. absolutely loved it. And I'm not just saying that because you're sitting here, but it was, it was so groovy. It was, ju it was just really cool. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. Um, what's the, what's the like vibe and feel of the next set of songs that we have? Something, uh, so I'm working on an album mm. and I have, put it out on my social media as well that you know it's time for an album yeah um and i wasn't doing a lot of things uh in in the last year uh i was just taking a break you know just sit, like just noticing where the industry is going yeah. what is happening you know yeah, yeah. and uh, uh that's when i was uh and i was uh, i was actually even discussing it with ayushman i remember we were in chandigarh you know um uh, God bless the soul of his father. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I said, Pazi, I don't know what to do next. You know, I have made so much music mm. uh, as an artist, uh, you know, and and I want to, uh, I don't know, like it's, it's, it's a space where I don't know as an artist where to, which direction to go to. And that's when he said, you know, Pazi, sometimes in life you just have to be brave and move forward. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's I, I remember exactly that point of time. That's when I decided, you know, I I, I just should not think a lot. Yeah. You know, I should just make music. So it's going to be a lot of new stuff, a lot of stuff that you would not expect out of Bacha. For example, Jugnu is something that you wouldn't expect. Sanak would mm. was something. And then there's some th some some songs where I want to go back to basic, like where I want to create those blockbuster anthems like yeah. Pani Pani, Genda Fool, all of that oh stuff. Oh God, that's a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I just want to have fun. Mm. I just want to have a lot of fun. And I am, I am having a lot of fun. I'm, I'm having so much fun that now it's time to stop having fun <laughs> and, you know, shortlist uh, the songs uh, and finally put the album yes. out. Do we have a date for the album? Mm, no. I, 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 I feel like it's a yes. <laughs> no, I keep myself giving those dates <laughs> okay. and my, my label uh, and my management. And then in the next meeting, I change the day and they're like, oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I want to tell you something, and um, I haven't told this to anyone before. Uh, like there are going to be a lot of collaborations, a lot of huge, huge collaborations. I can't name them. Of I course. was just going to say that was going to no. be my next question. No, no, no. Look, okay, you've told us that there's going to be collaborations yeah. like just give us one name it's gonna be uh just one name i i you know even though the songs are done but legalities have to be taken care of you know what i'm saying yeah, I know. you know those are the those are the things that you th take the most time but it is it i can safely say and and you know i am i'm a person who 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 like doesn't talk until it yeah, is what it is, same. I can safely say this is going to be the biggest album coming out of, made by a brown person probably. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I think I know where we're going with this. Yeah. I cannot wait. Yeah, but, but there is also, uh, uh, there is also like people you cannot expect. Uh, and in terms of like, so Nidhi Ma'am is all, also on there. And yeah. then there are of course a few global names and then a few folk names, but it is going to be a very heavy collaborative album. So are we talking in terms of the wait time? Are we talking like months, days, years, months. like months? Months. Okay. It's, it's just, you know, you know, it's just in the oven right now. We're just waiting for the tea, yeah. tea to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Okay. And Bacha, just uh, one final message for your UK fans who are going to be listening to this, who are watching this, uh, who are huge, huge fans of you. UK, you should specially watch out for the album. That's all I can say. Yay. You have no idea what's coming your way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we can't wait for it. Bacha, thank you so much. Honestly, like, really, thank you so much. This is like, I, I, I'm going to treasure this for the rest of my life. My first interview with Bacha <laughs> as like an eye for 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you.